right, thanks so much, Chris. And new at four, a new medical study shows that 30% of all opioids are prescribed without a legitimate medical reason. Right now, the nonprofit group Not One More Alabama is working to arm parents with the skills to end opioids, uh, to find opioids rather, and other drugs in their kids' rooms to prevent the next overdose. Way 31 Sierra Phillips is on South Memorial Parkway, where a trailer is set up to show parents where teens might hide drugs in their room. Sierra. I'm here at the Discovery Room trailer in Huntsville. Now, this is set up at the Wellspring Behavioral Health Center. This is set up to mimic a teenager's room, but there are hiding spots throughout it, including this Coke can, which actually opens up. I talked to the woman who came up with the idea for this trailer about how she's using it to raise awareness about drug abuse. Now, I found they could use all this creativity in a positive manner. This may look like a normal room. But inside, there's plenty of spots that could be used to hide illegal drugs. There are Sharpie pins that come apart. There's a tube of lipstick that comes apart. There's a hairbrush where the end of the hairbrush you can unscrew. I actually thought it was pretty cool. The trailer was set up as an interactive, educational, and even fun way to open parents' eyes to how creative hiding spots can be. Having this tool is a way for us to help people that are going through problems with addiction, not just the addict, but the family members of addicts. The trailer is dedicated to Sally Barton's son. He died of an overdose in 2016, and since then, Barton has worked with Not One More Alabama to help families in similar situations. I just wanted to get involved with some kind of service in our community to help other people that are going through what we went through. For me and our family, it's just a great way for us to give back and help. Now this trailer is open for 30 more minutes, but if you missed today, you can go to Clements High School on the 22nd. Reporting live in Huntsville, Sierra Phillips, Way 31 News. All right, thanks so much, Sierra.